In this video, I'll walk you through the basic steps of compositing in Affinity Photo. Compositing involves combining multiple layers visually. These layers can be images, text, or even vector elements. Let me show you an easy example. I have my base image here, which is a JPEG file, and I'll drag drop it into Photo. When you import an image as a new document, the content becomes the initial background layer. I'm going to introduce another layer in the form of an image. I'll go out to the file browser, then click drag this smoke JPEG in, and release the mouse button over the document view to place it as a second layer. Now on the layers panel, I'll change the blend mode of this layer to screen, and it will blend nicely with the image beneath. I do need to adjust the position and scale of the layer, so for this I'll switch to the move tool with V, and I'll also enable snapping up here. Now I'll snap the layer to the top left of the document and scale it until it covers the entire base image. I also want to flip this layer horizontally so the smoke isn't over the player's face. To do this quickly, I can right click on the layer and go to Transform, Flip Horizontal. I've now composited this smoke overlay on top of the original image to create quite a powerful effect. To take this further, I might add a white balance adjustment by going to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, White Balance. I can drag the temperature slider all the way to the right, and this will lend the composition a warm tone. What I'll now do, however, is change the blend mode. I'll go for Soft Light, then I'll lower the layer opacity to 50% to reduce the effect of the white balance adjustment slightly. Hiding and showing the adjustment demonstrates the result. I've achieved a contrast enhancement effect that also applies a slightly warmer tone to everything. In addition to this, I want to add some real grit to this image and make the detail pop. The clarity filter is ideal for this. I'll go to Layer, New Live Filter Layer, Sharpen, Clarity. Increase the strength slider all the way to 100%. Then close the dialog. At this point, I may decide the texture enhancement is too dramatic. This is the beauty of non destructive editing, which I've been demonstrating so far by working with layers. I can click on the Clarity Layer thumbnail to reopen the dialog, then reduce the strength slider until I'm happy with the result. The white balance settings can also be revisited. I can, for example, drag the temperature slider all the way to the left to give the composition a much cooler look. Finally, I could also try altering the position of the smoke. I'll select the smoke layer and move it to the left. If I'm not sure about this change, I can simply undo the last operation with Command Z on Mac, Control Z on Windows. And that was a very basic look at compositing. If you're interested, please do watch some of the other tutorials for more advanced examples and ideas. Thank you for watching.